Now what we're going over here today is how to cut stainless steel with oxy fuel. All right, and the reason that uh, I chose this is I had a guy the other day and he was taking a backing bar off of a weld test, which was stainless, and he tried to cut it with oxy fuel. After I told him not to cut it with oxy fuel, long story short, can oxy fuel cut stainless? It can't, right? But people all the time try to convince you that they have done it before. It's one of my pet peeves. You know, you tell somebody don't do something, they do it, and they mess up a well test they just did for like two hours because they, you know, basically screwed up the chemical composition of the actual stainless. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, one being not that big of a deal, ten being a really big deal. If you think that oxyfuel can cut stainless, it's a ten in the welding world. Maybe that's just because one of my pet peeves. But, uh, you know, people do it all the time. They say, oh, I've cut stainless with oxy fuel before. No, you melted stainless with oxy fuel, and I bet it looked like hell. So, um, long story short, you cannot cut stainless steel with oxy fuel. If you don't know that, it's a really big deal. If you go out and you're telling people that you can cut stainless with oxy fuel, that's bad. It's very bad, all right? The reason that people think they can is because they melt it. It takes forever. It, when they melt it, it, it's all sagged. It, it's not cut. It's not actually cut. It's just melted. They get the uh, you know temperature above three thousand degrees, and eventually it's gonna you know kind of melt away. So they think they're cutting it, but they're actually not. So um, if you're in the welding world, make sure you understand that you cannot cut stainless steel with oxy fuel. So what can you cut with oxy fuel? Right here, carbon steels. That's what you're cutting. And it's a chemical reaction. I wrote that down too. That's what's going on. You get that kindling temperature on a piece of carbon steel. You shoot that oxygen through, and it's a chemical reaction that cuts uh, carbon steels. And it's and it's a really smooth process. It's a great process for carbon steels. But if you're looking for stainless, forget it. It's not going to work. I wrote down here aluminum with a question mark. So okay, does it cut stainless? No. Does it cut aluminum? No. It cuts carbon steels. That's it. Um, heating. Other question mark. Can you heat stainless and aluminum with it? Absolutely, you can heat it to bend it or whatever you're doing. Uh, it's a very common practice. Uh, stainless heats real nice because it stays local. Uh, aluminum is a little bit harder to bend. It doesn't have as much um, quality bending um, characteristics as something like stainless. Well, you, and there's different grades, of course. If you're planning on bending aluminum, make sure you get a grade that's more ductile, you know, so it's easier to bend. But you can absolutely heat stuff up with it. People heat all kinds of things up with oxy fuel, right? So, uh, heating, you can heat anything with uh, oxy fuel as far as metals go. Uh, if you need to get a uh, nut off something, what do you do? You heat it up, right? Then it turns off because it expands and all that stuff. So, you can heat aluminum and stainless, but you cannot cut it, right? Uh, other thing I wrote over here is don't argue about it. I've had people that, that's probably why it is one of my pet peeves. People argue with me about it, like, I've, I've melted you know, stainless before, but you melted it, you didn't cut it. Uh, so do your instructor a favor if you're in school, don't argue with them about it. And last but not least, um, try it. Go get an oxy fuel set up, get a piece of stainless. If you're in school, explain to your instructor, I just want to try it and see what happens. And try it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It doesn't cut, it just, it looks like, it looks terrible if you try to cut stainless with oxy fuel. So we've established that you can't cut stainless or aluminum with uh, the oxy fuel process. So what are you going to do if you need to cut it? You're gonna get yourself a plasma cutter, right? That's why we have plasma, right? Plasma works totally different than oxy fuel. It's not a chemical reaction. It's a negative and a positive, just like a welder comes together and creates an electrical short, and then compressed air shoots through it. So plasma cuts anything that basically conducts electricity. So uh, if you need to cut stainless or aluminum, get yourself a plasma cutter. Don't try and use oxy fuel. That's all we got for today. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the TV Weld. We'll see you next time.